What's good, everybody? My name is Canon Miko, aka Ocean Crash, and welcome to Before We Work, where I like to talk about things that are on my mind and uh, just, you know, discuss. So, um, today we're going to talk about something that happened in, um, in Jacksonville, Florida. It's very, very tragic. As you all are aware, there was a shooting at a uh, Madden competition. And um, I wanted to discuss it a little bit and uh, the gaming community main, mainly and um, and how we should kind of conduct ourselves around times um, that revolve around this matter and the kind of like how it relates to future things as well. So um, I want to start off basically by talking about mentioning something Boogie said, Boogie2988, as some of you are aware of. Um, he said um, that maybe, you know, after witnessing things like these at concerts and festivals and, and, uh, and, uh, and conventions and, and gaming, you know, expos, is that maybe we're now we're going to be a little bit more patient, you know, when there's a long line and security is checking everyone. Uh, maybe um, th th this, is, this is a lesson, I think, for a lot of us whom complain that, like, security is taking too long or why are we in line so long and whatnot. And... And uh, patience really is key when you're taking consideration security because what happens when you're not patient um, is there will be complaints and you know when you're not patient and you complain you're gonna complain to you know the higher ups and what are they going to do they're gonna try to find a way to expedite security checks uh, because so many people are complaining and then what does that happen that kind of limps your security and you know unfortunate things like this are more prone to happen so it's something we all have to um, kind of keep in the back of our head like you know what you know remember what happened in Jackson Florida you know Jacksonville Florida we have to kind of just take this and remind ourselves constantly that we need to start being more aware of our surroundings and more aware of what's going on and kind of use it to take action security is very important you know um, I mean so many YouTube celebrities and so many um, actors and, and singers and, 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 and conventions and concerts and festivals, so much shooting. And, and, and I mean, I, I, the question is like, when will we learn that we need to start being okay with security? Like it needs to be something that needs to be constantly done. And um, we, we just have to use this as a rubric. Um, and, and I think it's something that, you know, not just the gaming community, but um, all communities are involved around shootings. But in particular, I think the gaming community is it's the time for us not to get together and kind of realize that, you know, we have to start being more, you know, patient in terms of, of, of security and more allowing um, so many TCG conventions and so many gaming comp uh, convent competition conventions, so many speedrun conventions, thousands all over the world, you know. And it can happen anywhere, you know. And as Boogie said, no matter how much security you implement, there's still a possibility that something tragic can happen, no matter what it is. So you have to be aware and 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 understanding and able to kind of take these these the the repercussions and, and the measures that these companies and, and businesses take. You have to be able to be patient with them while they're going through all of these things, while they're searching your bag, you know. I know I also I also feel indifferent about the security checks at these events because I remember I went to a festival once they just tapped the side of my pockets and then and then checked my backpack they just like shoved a broom in there like like a uh, stick around my backpack and that was it and I was like is that really how you're going to like check for weapons and stuff like that so I do agree some places don't do security well enough. I think it's pathetic what some what some conventions conventions do because they don't want to touch people or check people for lawsuits and stuff like they don't want they don't want to they want to avoid lawsuits by not touching people, but I think I I'd rather get physical and check someone than at risk tainting my my business and thousands of hundreds of people dying, you know, of a shooting. So it's like you have you have to be you have to find measures and it, and if people complain like, I don't like people going through my bag with their hands or I don't like people touching me, well, get a female cop to touch someone who's female and check them for weapons. And get a male cop to check someone who's male and check them for weapons. 
I'm I'm okay with people touching me to make sure I don't have a gun on me because I don't want that happening to someone else. You know, I don't want someone else, you know, um, go bearing, you know, an experience like that's tragic. I wouldn't even want to bear the thought of me having to witness something like that or, or one of my friends or families because they weren't, because someone wasn't thoroughly checked. Okay, so, I mean, it just depends. And, and, and I think there needs to be better security measures. So... There's that. Um, one thing I wanted to also cover was the amazing hero um, that, 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 that is being mentioned right now. Um, and his name is Ronald Casey, which it says here on this article, known in the gaming world as Cyrus the Virus, was in the room at the Jacksonville Landing Complex when the gunfire started to go off. Casey used his body to shield two gamers who were taking cover. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this article is accurate. Um, but we also need to take moments like these to appreciate people who are selfless. And I, I'm a firm believer that selfless people rarely exist in this world. Um, my dad is one of them. It, it's hard for me to become one. I, 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 I bear the thought of me trying to be selfless uh, a lot of the times. And I think it's more of a fight or flight type of reaction that happens in your brain in these times and moments. But heroes like, you know, like Ronald Casey, um, are, they're what we need to um, cherish in these times. And I mean, I, I just don't know how else to react than, um, how else to react um, if, if we had more selfless people in this world, you know, how... Uh, how many people could have been saved? I know two people um, died and then the gunner killed himself. I think his name was um, David Katz was the gunner's name. And it says here he killed two people. Um, it says that the shooter had history of mental illnesses and the police made frequent visits to his home. Um, and he wounded 10 other people at the eSports event tournament on Sunday. Um, it, it's just tragic to see things like these happen. It, it makes me speechless because, you know, I, I, I think I, I think about my people. I'm a Syrian Middle Eastern and, and the tragedies and deaths we face. Um, I mean, we've been through three genocides as Assyrians. Uh, ISIS has been ruthless with our people in Iraq and everywhere else. And then I think the terror that we face here in this country, you know, with shootings and, and, and bomb threats and, 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 and bombings and just so many things and I, I just think and I'm like what has the world come to you know um, I like your guys' opinions and thoughts uh, down in the comment section below uh, I'd appreciate if you guys can keep the memories of all those who lost their lives today um, in your thoughts and um, have a good day this is Canon Miko aka Ocean Crash before we work peace <laughs>